like a butterfly, like a butterfly, like a butterfly, a butterfly, and I. Today, we will be spreading our wings and flying like a butterfly, like a butterfly. Jared? Butterfly, like a butterfly tonight. You could sing in another life, but not in this life, buddy. I hate to break it to you. What are you doing on your phone? Jared, yesterday I was at the park. Oh boy. And Did you hear butterfly out of from the sky? <laughs> Jared, I didn't know we were going to come in here and uh, record butterfly today. No? We didn't talk about it. Must have been something serendipitous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we really didn't, right? No, we did not. We didn't know we were going to record this today. We no. decided, okay, it's time. Yeah. I was at the park yesterday and this butterfly, I kid you not, kept flying around me. Just oh, really? flying. Wow. And usually butterflies or any type of bug, insect, unless it's a goddamn fly or a I hate flying. Yeah. They'll usually move when humans move, right? Yeah. <laughs> you following me here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Jared, I had to take out my phone because this butterfly, this video I'm about to show you and Army, mm. this butterfly just landed on the table and didn't really flinch at human movement, huh. which was odd. So I'm thinking Maybe this is a sign. Mama? Because you know how much she loves butterflies. Oh, anytime I see a butterfly, <laughs> I know it's her. Exactly. That's yeah. the feeling that yeah. we get when we see butterflies. And Jared, this butterfly just, just sat there. And I almost got to touch it. And then it flew off. Oh, let me see this. Watch this video. Enjoy, everybody. <laughs> wow <laughs> isn't that crazy yeah that's that's pretty crazy i um, was like wait When's the last time a butterfly just sort of sat yeah. there? Wow. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. I thought it was mom trying to tell us yeah. something. I have noticed though, in my experience with butterflies, they are like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Cause a lot, I uh, see a lot of butterflies as well okay. outside. They are one of those rare insects that tend to stay around. Yeah. Right, they'll they'll fly around, they'll fly here, and then they'll eventually make their way back to you. Mm. You know, you see a fly usually, unless it's a big black fly, and it's stuck on your leg for oh. minutes. But flies, they usually come and go. You'll never see them again. But butterflies, unless you stink. Yeah, butterflies. It's like they're attracted to humans. Yeah, in a beautiful way too. Yeah, yeah. Like in in just a. It seems like every butterfly you come across is different mm. and unique, mm. but they're all just so majestic in the way they go about life. And today we have seven butterflies <laughs> who are about to take us on a beautiful journey. Let's go. Jared, I really can't remember where we first heard this song. Yeah. I don't know if it was at Busan no. Or if it was a little before then? No, we had heard it before then. Okay. Yeah. However, I remember the feeling mm -hmm. when we first heard this song. And it was one of just complete peace. Yeah. Just complete and utter peace. It's such a beautiful song. And we only heard the vocal line version. That's right. I do not believe we have heard the official full version that includes the rap line, which we will hear today. Yes, sir. Jared, let's head over to BTS Wiki before we jump in to Butterfly. Let's go. So on BTS Wiki, it says, Butterfly is a song by BTS 
It was released on November 30th, 2015, and appears as the third track for their fourth mini album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Part 2, and as the fourth track of the CD in their first compilation album, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Young Forever. A prologue mix mm. and an alternative mix mm. were released on May 2nd, 2016. Serves as the 11th track of the CD1 and 5th track of the CD2 in their first compilation album. Mm. And it says uh, it also has a Japanese version that was featured in their 6th Japanese single, Run, and their 2nd Japanese studio album, Youth. Okay. So this song is literally all over the place. <laughs> like, that's how good it is. Sort of like a butterfly. Yeah. It's time to hear the beautiful sounds of the seven Bangtan butterflies. Let's go. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> Oh, V. That's Jin, Jordan. Okay, Jin. High note, Jerry. It could be anybody. <laughs> Sugar? It could be anybody. Oh my god. Uh, it could be anybody. Uh, it's so faint. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. 
I like that. What you got? Talk to me. Oh, Jared. I like that a lot. To me, there were many moments that stood out or perked my ears up. I'll say three moments. When Jin started singing. Oh, yes. Number one. Oh, yes. Like, Wait a minute. Okay. That was number one. Number two, when RM started rapping. Oh, yes. And number three, when that faint high note mm -hmm. first came in. The ad lib. The, the ad lib. Yep. Yeah, in the back. Yep. They kept it in the background. Jared, all I could picture throughout the duration of these four minutes. It did not feel like four minutes. Nope. It felt like a breath of air, by the way. Like, just <laughs> like a, one deep breath. One deep breath. <sighs> For the duration of these four minutes, all I could picture as each member came in, as they harmonized at the end together, were seven distinct, beautiful butterflies flying in and out of each other's auras mm. and then jared at the end coming together to create one of the most beautiful visuals that one can see in nature yeah that's what the song sounded like to me yeah like rm was his own unique butterfly he was a bit more of an aggressive butterfly yeah <laughs> and like yeah yeah I, I like what you just said there because this song feels cosmic oh right it, it's majestic i'm going to use a term that we rarely use but we use it on occasion to describe bts songs jordan mm. this is a masterpiece this is a masterpiece of a song you heard that right I i'm talking about it. sonically yeah I, I haven't seen any visuals attached to this yet sonically this is a an absolute masterpiece okay the song starts off with very subtle, faint, yet powerful, soft voices from yeah. JK. Like oh. where you hear the, the rasp. Let's play that again real quick. The very beginning? Yeah, watch. <laughs> Hold on, keep it playing, watch, watch V. <laughs> it's coming from here. Oh. Butterflies. Is it true? Is it true? <laughs> it didn't sound like that. Is it true? Nope. I like that. Either. Like that is, that's craziness, right? You mentioned the moment Jin started singing. Oh my. God. Just absolute bonkers. Goodness. Goodness. Jin in this song sounds like the most beautiful version of every single member of BTS combined. And that might not even make sense, <laughs> right? At first, if, if I close my eyes, I have no idea who that is. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. It doesn't sound like a member of BTS. Oh my goodness. Jared, sounds, that's a great way to put like it. It sounds like an even better version of all the vocal line combined. <laughs> Let's hear Jin. Play that, John. This is an Got to the gay butterfly. Close your eyes. Complete silk and smooth. What you just said. Yeah. What, can you repeat what you just said? I forget. It, oh. it doesn't sound like a member of BTS. It sounds like all of the vocal line members combined. Yes. Yeah. And you said like the most beautiful version of that. Version of that. That's what Ginger sounded like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He sounds like an angel here. One more time. <laughs> One more time to One hear Jin. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's the silver that everybody's talking oh, about. Oh my god. Um what else you got, brother? Yeah. Again, I mean, Sugar hit us with the first rap line verse, very short, 
Hobie hit us with the second rap line verse, very melodic. Mm -hmm. And RM Jordan, whatever he did here in his verse, it was so short, but it's some of the best rapping we've heard from RM. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. up there with his 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 mixtape, RM <laughs> level rapping, like that type of flow and just the change of the beat. Yeah. A masterpiece of a song. Let's hear RM's verse one more time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 10 seconds, Jordan. Oh my goodness. One more time. Jared, the beat complements his verse. Yes. As well as all of them. If you heard the bass line behind Jin's voice, yeah. that's what added that. Oh my goodness, that element that just made you feel yep, yep. Jin in what he was saying. Yep. One more time for Arms verse. No, we gotta go back. One more time, everybody. It was literally 15 seconds. That's crazy. That's un. That was 15 real. seconds, Jordan. Unbelievable, man. Wow. Why was I expecting going into today's reaction? I was thinking, oh, we already heard this song. Yeah. This is not going to be like a, a first time reaction. Yeah. This was a first time reaction. We did not hear this song. <laughs> yeah. No, wow. many people were quick to point out that, hold up, guys. Yeah. You haven't heard the full version yeah. with the rap line yeah wow oh. last thing i'll say about this it sounds like a grown bts yeah. yeah however this is only in 2015 jordan this was created in 2015 like I, we're both sitting here like oh this is a piece of art that was created by bts post 2020 no this is 2015 jordan think about that massive step of growth since the most beautiful moment in life part one crazy it's hard to think about yeah it's hard to think about jared you can hear it in every single yes. last one of their voices yeah. in what they're talking about like we it was hard to pay attention to the lyrics i didn't catch any lyric except butterfly all i caught was what's on the screen right now will yeah. you stay by my side will you promise me mm. Let's go over to dual set because after that, we have multiple live performances. Come on now. In which we are going to hear this song over and over and over again. Let's go. According to dual set, Butterfly was produced by P Dog. Uh, of course it was. P Doggy Doggy Dog. P Dog. Mm. Doggy Style. I... P Dog. What? <laughs> Nothing. All right. I would love to see the behind the scenes footage of P-Dog in the uh, studio uh, with all of his keyboards laid out just trying yeah, to find the right yeah, chord progression yeah, for Butterfly. Yeah. Like, like P-Dog just around the studio just going <laughs> like this. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It was written by Hitman Bang, Slow Rabbit, P-Dog, Brother Sue, RM, Sugar, and J-Hope. Sounds about right. And the lyrics begin, don't think of anything. Don't bring up any word. Please just smile at me. I still can't believe it. Mm. All of this feels like a dream. Don't try to fade away. Mm. Is it true? Oh. Is it true? You, you, you. Like ever. And then untrue. And I believe that's when Jimin came ah. in. Ah. Untrue. Ah. Untrue. untrue. You, you, you. Okay. So you're so beautiful that I'm scared. And then he says, untrue, untrue. Mm -hmm. You, you, you. Will you stay by my side? Will you promise me if I touch you that you might fly away, that you might be shattered? Mm. I'm scared, scared, scared. I'm just getting the image of... To, uh, to try to touch a butterfly like ah, i oh my like gosh. i showed you in the beginning will you promise me if i touch you that you might fly away 
that you might be shattered. Huh. Mm. How do you interpret that? Yeah, I'm taking that and I'm like implicitly adding the word that you won't fly away. Yes. If I touch you that you, did you like will you promise me that you won't fly away? However, if you think about the part where they say that you might be shattered, it's like, oh, will you promise me that you're human? Will you promise me that this love is that deep? Oh, right. That you might be shattered. I don't know. I told you that you might fly away. That you might. See, let's keep moving then. See if we can get an answer. <laughs> yeah. I would stop the time once this moment passes by that it might become something that it that didn't happen. Mm. That I might lose you. I'm scared. Scared. Mm. Scared. And then this is where we get butterfly, like a, like a butterfly. butterfly, just like a butterfly, but butterfly. butterfly. And then they repeat that. Oh. Butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so. This is where sugar comes yes. in, according to genius. So sugar spits, you're just like a butterfly. I steal a glance of you from afar or from far away, fearing that I might lose you if my hand touches you. Mm. So that's sort of how we, or how I interpreted the line up above. Yeah, yeah. Right, I steal a glance of you from far away, fearing that I might lose you if my hand touches you. Interesting. The butterfly effect that shines on me in this pitch darkness. Just a gentle hand gesture of yours makes me forget the reality. And this is where Sugar ends his verse in J-Hope. Like a butterfly, Jared, just smoothly picks up where Sugar left off. Yeah, yeah. Right? All of the transitions. Like, if you close your eyes, sometimes, especially Jin's part, Yep. You're unable to hear or recognize, wait, did they change? Who, who's this now? Yes. And then other times, like the distinction between JK and V, you can easily tell. Oh, yeah. All right. So J-Hope raps or harmonizes like a wind that gently strokes me, like a dust that lightly drifts in the air. You're there, but for some reason, I can't reach you. Mm. Stop. Was this where the beat cut out? I can't remember. A dream like you, you're a butterfly to me. Ooh. So it seems like it's like a butterfly. Like yeah. you can't really, it's hard to capture, hard to. I love J-Hope's bars here. Like a wind that gently strokes me. Mm. Like a dust that lightly drifts in the air. You're there, you're there. but for some reason I can't reach you. Stop. Wow. Wow. Hmm. A lot of imagery. Yeah. And then... Um, uh, oh, that's Jin right there. According to Genius, this is where Jin popped up in there. Oh. Untrue. Untrue. You. 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 Sorry, that's it. That's a disrespect to your voice, Jin. We apologize. <laughs> Jerry, I'll let you pick up here, bud. All right. And then we have JK and V, mm -hmm. and they sing, Will you stay by my side? Will you promise me, if I touch you, that you might fly away, that you might be shattered? I'm scared, scared, scared. I would stop the time, mm -hmm. once this moment passes, that it might become something that it that didn't happen. Why do I want to say it there? Mm. That it might become something that didn't happen. That I might lose you. I'm scared, scared, scared. And then here, Jorn, is where your boy RM <sighs> flips. Go ahead, brother. I want to hear it. Okay. I want to hear it. My heart makes a dry sound. Mm. I don't know if it's a dream or the reality. My Kafka oh. on the shore. Like Franz Kafka. And here it says, uh, it's a book reference, Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Murakami. 
Let's check that out real quick. I've heard it. Hold on. Kafka I think and people bought us this book. Oh, really? Yeah, I think a few patrons sent us this book. Okay. A while back. Uh, so according to Wikipedia, it says Kafka on the Shore is a 2002 novel by Japanese author Haruki Murakami. Mm. It's... 2005 English translation was among the 10 best books of 2005. Interesting. From the New York Times and received the World Fantasy Award for 2006. The book tells the stories of the young Kafka Tamura, mm. a bookish 15 year old boy who runs away from his Idapal curse and Satoru Nakata an old disabled man with the uncanny ability to talk to cats. The book incorporates themes of music as a communicative conduit, metaphysics, dreams, fate, the subconscious. So right up RM's alley. <laughs> wow. Mm. It sounds interesting though. Yeah. All right. So RM says, my Kafka on the shore, please don't go to the forest over there. Or as we now know, the soup. The soup. My heart still breaks into pieces over you. Mm. That melt black and flow down. Mm. I just want to evaporate away like this. My love is eternity. And there's wordplay here. It says this term is eternity, but this term can also be zero, one, making the above line mean my love is free, which is to be repeated in English in the next line. Mm. It's all free for you. Okay. Baby. All right. So Arm got quite deep there. Can we read that one more time? Sure. Uh, you want to do the honors? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know there were, there were just notes. Yeah, they yeah. sort of broke it apart. Because it was so, so short. Yes. Like he's 15 it. seconds, sure. Yeah. My heart makes a dry sound. I don't know if it's a dream or the reality. Mm. My Kafka on the shore. Please don't go to the forest over there. My heart still breaks into pieces over you that melt black and flow down. Mm. I just want to evaporate away like this. My love is eternity. It's all free for you, baby. Mm. I got the image of RM's mixtape cover. Ooh. The black melting down. Ooh. His heart still breaks into pieces. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we have JK and V, and then Jimin and Jin, who end out the song. Uh, so it goes, will you stay by my side? Mm -hmm. Will you promise me if I touch you, that you might fly away, that you might be shattered. I'm scared, scared, scared. I would stop the time once this moment passes, that it might become something that didn't happen, that I might lose you. I'm scared, scared, scared. Butterfly, like a butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, at times, it felt like they were speaking to Army. Mm. We say that a lot, but that's what it, that's what it felt like to ah. me. Like, I'm scared to lose you. Yeah. I would stop the time once this moment passes that it might become something that didn't happen, that I might lose you. I'm scared. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. All right. So that is the lyrics. Now the real fun begins, Jordan. <laughs> and yeah. I want to I know what Army's interpretation of this song is. Yes. Because they always break it down for us real well. Yes. 
Um, so the butterfly metaphor army. Educate us more about that. Yeah. It feel we like we feel like we understand it. But I want to hear uh, yeah. from Army. Well, Jordan, we are just getting started. That we are, brother. We have an abundance of butterfly content that we are about to fly directly into. Mm. I'm talking five plus live performances. Back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. I'm talking to dance practice. Now I'm talking Jim and Festa. Out. You talking about the Festa one? I, I don't know what. Yeah, 2022 Festa. I'm talking Jim and out here dancing to Butterfly in an advertisement. I'm talking content galore. Oh my Jordan. Okay, and oh, we're going to go have a party with all this <laughs> Butterfly content. Let's do it. I'm so ready. Let's do just that. Army, if you'd like to join us and come party. Party, come party. fly up in the party then you got to come over to army gold right now because we're going to go do what jared just said we're going to do and we might have even more content yeah because there's so much butterfly content to get through so we hope you enjoyed this first part of butterfly and we hope to see you over on army gold army we love you so much do not forget be kind and keep an open mind, everybody. Peace.